Well, this morning, physical proof of how far we've come technology-wise, that is. Yes, we want to go back out live to Marty Bass at the National Electronics Museum. Hi, Marty. What are you showing us now? Well, we're going to try and show you a lot. You know, K2 and I are a team. Shout out, K2. Appreciate you. Good morning, everyone. And I will say to K2 at any of our live shots, Aubrey Kwasney, by the way, director of the National Electronic Museum, say, K2, you do K2. How do you want to show the audience what we've got to see? There's so much in here, K2 said, let's show it all to them. So we're going to take a walk. This is the evolution of radar. Correct. This is all of our radars um, dating back to World War II and going forward. The, right now you're looking at a radar from 1983 moving to the 2000s. And we're getting ready to show you how fragile this stuff is. There's a, uh, an airplane called an AWACS. You're familiar with it. We're going to show you a model of the AWACS. It's what helps ground forces, air forces, have tremendous vision away from the field of operations. What you're looking at on this wall is what's in that big dome. This is a huge AWACS radar array. This is what spins in the dome of that DC-8. Uh, that is un. Believable. But let me show you how fragile this is. The reason this is on display and not in the air, Aubrey, just point it out. We've got a dent here and a few other little imperfections. Otherwise, this was serving for almost 50 years. And that one little dent took it out of commission. Yep. That's, cra that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Now, this is some pretty heavy stuff. We've been talking about the military applications. But when it also comes to electronics, how many of you like to listen to music? EDM, electronic dance music. Well, how many of you have ever heard of, well, <laughs> tell us what we're looking at. We're looking at a theremin here. This uses electronic um, magnet beams. It's the, go ahead and play it. This is the precursor of the Moog synthesizer. Hello, caller, you're on the air. What would you like to hear? Uh, yeah, I love your show. Can I hear Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon? <laughs> That is the precursor of the Moog synthesizer. So not only do we have heavy-duty military application here, a lot of it invented in Maryland, but we also have some fun stuff. Listen, you guys are a nonprofit. Folks can go to the website, which is, again, nationalelectronicsmuseum.org. And you can find out how to contribute, how to book a tour. And there, there is admission, and that's how a lot of this is funded. And COVID hurts you guys. Yes. You, you were closed for how long? We were closed for about a year and a half. And there went some grant money. Yeah, we lost a lot of funding, and we are currently looking to move. And that is a big, big price tag to move all of these artifacts. But still going to be here for a while through the summer. Come and visit the National Electronic Museum right now, right down near Nursery Road, Elk Ridge Landing Road near BWI. We'll throw it back at TV, y'all. Fascinating. A lot of it went <laughs> like this over my head, but yes, I know I if I went there and walked around, I right, would learn you would a learn, lot. You'd be able to soak Absolutely. it in. Absolutely.